Mm-hmm. All looks really going well. No one has been asking for books about stuff they have never heard about. All the books have been brought back in time. Hmm? What's that sound? Everyone should have already found all the books, so no one is supposed to... Hey, why are you making all this noise? We are in a library. Please, take a seat and be quiet. No? How dare you reply to me? I'm the librarian and thus the authority figure in charge here. Hey, are you at least listening to me? Oh, finally. So, mind telling me why have you been running all around the library without showing even the slightest of respect for all the other people coming here to have a quiet afternoon reading? Uh, listen, this is not even the first time that I have to warn you about disturbing the whole library. I hate to annoy you about this each and every single time, but come on, please, try to at least have some kind of decency. Mm, fine, fine, I will accept your excuses, but please, try to keep quiet and respect everyone, understood? Good. Well, I have a lot of stuff to do, books to organize and calls to make, so... See you. Oh, damn it. I've missed these emails. Our library is really getting a lot of money this month. Well, at least that. Hmm? Oh, have you finished the book already? What? Oh, that girl is still bothering that section of the library. Oh. Thanks for letting me know. I will take care of her myself. Here's a coupon for that book in return. Hey, hey, what did I say to you earlier? Why are you still bothering the other members of the library? Listen, if you don't stop making all the noise, I will have no other options but to ask you to leave. Or listen up. I am really starting to get tired of you, so... Or you start to be quiet while in a stupid library, or... I will throw you out of the door and never allow you to ever come back, understood? Uh, and what are you rambling about now? What? I am not saying that you are an idiot. Listen. Coming to a library for reading is the first thing supposed to make you understand that you are not an idiot. Well, that only applies if you keep quiet and actually read a book, because if you have just come here to annoy others, yes, you are an idiot. You are here to study for a test? Good then, you are not an idiot. Then why are you making all this noise? I mean. I can't be really helpful having me coming to reprimand you every half an hour, can I? Oh, see? Then please, tell me why you're so... nervous. I'm a librarian, but also a student myself, so... I know very well how stressful exams can be. So, mind telling me why are you having such a difficult time? I wouldn't mind giving you a hand. There would only be me doing my job, to be honest. Listen, I might have an idea. Hear me out, okay? So, closing time is pretty close, and thus I will need to ask you and all the others to leave pretty soon. I usually arrive like two hours before opening time every day. So, Maybe you could try to arrive early as well and try to read while the library is still empty. Will that help you? Hmm. Glad you are willing to try it. Well, see you tomorrow then. And please be quiet while leaving the library. 
Thanks. Uh, well, another day, another boring day at the library. Oh, great. You are already here. No, I'm not angry. Why the hell would I be angry for you being already here? I'm the one to have asked you to come earlier, after all. So, come inside. There's still no one in the library. Just let me turn... Just let me turn the lights on. Ooh, finally some light. All those clouds were really getting on my nerves. I hate rainy days. What about you? Hmm, I see. Well, it's true that rainy days help when you have plants to water every day. That's understandable, but not when you own cactuses. Those are a nightmare to take care of and... Hey, I've allowed you to arrive earlier to study, not to waste time. Come on, take a seat and try to study. I will be setting things for later. I've just arrived myself after all. Hey, how it's going? Any better when all by yourself? Hmm, I haven't heard a single sound for half an hour. That's a huge progress from yesterday, you know? Oh, so you... You think that you're still not enough? Why a girl like you should tell something like that? Please tell me. Hey, what did we say yesterday? Hmm? You are not an idiot. No, you're you're not, okay? And uh, <coughs> You're not an idiot. Understood? Keep that mouth shut now, okay? Or else I will get really upset. What was that? Oh, come on. You are a really strange woman. You know that, do you? What do you mean? Listen, I'm here to help you stay quiet while in the library, but not only for that, of course. Okay, come here and kiss me, you moron. See? It's easier to stay quiet when your lips are blocked by someone else, isn't it? <sighs> Glad we are not starting to see things from the same perspective. You know, I thought that maybe, just maybe, making you feel more comfortable while in the library would have helped you staying quiet. I mean, making out is not prohibited in this library. We just need to... Keep quiet and... Everything is gonna be alright. Mm. Come on, resume studying. And I'm gonna shush you whenever you start to make too much noise, dear. Okay? Good. In the meantime, mind give me if you happen to be free from some shitty chat the nearby cafe later? Good, good. Also, I'm really trying to resist laughing because we're in the same class, but you seriously seem not to realize that. <laughs> yes, I am in your same class, silly. We have been the same class for the whole duration of the last couple of years. And well, I have grown attached to you. You seem a kind of a cute girl. And it was always me who left that coupon for the library on your desk a couple of weeks ago. Asking someone to be your friend is something kinda 
strangely difficult nowadays. So that's why I've tried to have in the library. To try getting to know each other. But of course, you had to make all the noise and bother everyone else. So for now on, because it's from now on and only now, you're gonna come to the library earlier and spend time with me. Understood? We have the same classes after all, so we have the same exams as well. That's why I haven't questioned you about what you were studying. I already knew that myself. And I actually have many documents on my computer. I find studying on a computer easier. What about you? Mm, you prefer the feeling of paper. Okay, fine. Everyone has their taste. I'm not going to force you. Come on. Oh, you take everything way too on a personal side. You know that. Anyways, I'm really starting to feel tired. So, let me sit next to you. So, now that things have been set, let's resume studying, okay? I can use my phone while you use your books. Oh, no, no. What did we just say about self-deprecating? Hmm? Oh, mm -hmm. hmm. Why am I starting to think that you're doing that on purpose only because you want my kisses? Well, just know that I may just become your partner in crime. If that's your goal. <laughs> nothing. I said nothing. What's sad? Hmm. It's almost opening time. Better if we stop for now. Things are really gonna become embarrassing, you know. Two girls alone in the library. If others see us all by ourselves. <laughs> nah, I'm I'm not worried about I'm I'm not worried to be seen with you, just to be seen with anyone in particular. I think if my boss or any of the teachers sees us, that will be a real pain in the butt to resolve. Oh yes, we have been studying all the while, but we have still entered the library, really, really, really. And people are gonna start to go see but make up strange scenarios in their hands to get more attention. Ooh, the two old girls together. You know, gaining popularity by making us seen as a couple. No, I'm still single. If you really thought it's the moment to ask me such a question, then... Well, anyways, we should probably exit from the back. If from the back entrance, I mean, <laughs> and go into class for now. I have the keys, but my turn at the library starts later in the day, so I won't be forgiven as well if catched in here. Good. Let's pick up our stuff and get out of here as soon as possible. Oh, it's still raining. Okay, time to make a run for the main entrance of the school and hope to blend in with all the other students. It's really about to ring for the first hour, so... Uh, we have to hurry and maybe... Mm, just maybe we're gonna be safe. Uh, yes, I've turned all the lights off. My computer as well. Logged out before that, of course. You picked up all of your books? I have my purse. So, it seems we are good to go. What's the matter? Oh my... Well, I don't think it would be such a good idea to silence you while in class. That would only make us look lame. Oh well, remember the cafe invitation I gave you earlier? I was not kidding. <laughs> Yeah, I am free after school as well. And besides, 
we may just start to meet at my place. I mean, instead of the library. You see, if in a private place I could just silence you way more personally. <laughs> so, are you in for it? Good. And it's been really, really funny today. It's been a funny experience. But now it's time to run to class or the professor is gonna kick our butt. Remember the last time someone arrived late with a professor? They got suspended for a week. Well, time to go and let's see who arrives first. Huh? Mm, and what does the winner receive? Hmm. Let me think about it for a second. Whoever it wins, it gonna buy for the other. Mm, what do you think about a new skirt, huh? <laughs> You're really funny. Come on, let's go now, cutie. <laughs> 